We're Brittany and Andy, and after passing the halfway mark on the John Muir Trail, we finally had our trail legs under us. Even if the highest mountain passes, we're still in front of us. We invite you to come along as we tackle the final stretch of the JMT, including its most iconic and challenging terrain, and learn once and for all if we're cut out to be through hikers. I'm a little bit freaked out right now. Episode five, Muir Pass. Morning of our twelfth day on the John Muir Trail, the previous night's hailstorm had exhausted itself, and everything on the way to Muir Pass was blue skies and stunning views. Day. We got six miles to get to Muir Pass. We got four miles to get to where we're gonna have breakfast. We got hailed on last night. We got rained on last night. <laughs> I'm so excited for Muir Pass and yeah. Muir Hut. Me too. No turn back. I'm in deep. I'm staying. was just in front of us, the Muir Hut, its silhouette clearly visible on the horizon. For Andy especially, this was the culmination of a lifelong dream, to stand in a place that had been immortalized in the posters on his childhood bedroom wall. For me, this mountain pass was a destination I'd never even imagined I'd see in person. And yet, here we both were. Who can tell where life will take you? Did I know? Where I go, I am not certain. All in good time. How about a fresh Snickers at your hat? <laughs> you know, you always gotta have one just for the occasion. <laughs> I cried. <laughs> no one likes some peanut butter snacks. <laughs> Keep you healthy on trail. <laughs> All right, guys, we're leaving the hut. Oh, so cool. How's it for you? I am still a little emotional <laughs> from reaching a place that I've been trying to get to for 15 years. <laughs> and then it feels a little bit like we're walking into Mars. <laughs> yeah, it 100% does. <laughs> Yeah.
take the long way home if it meant I'd go walking by your door. Together we could see where the road will lead to the unknown. There is no end if you believe. Just take my hand and come with me. just got real rocky. As you can tell we've entered the stone quarry section <laughs> after Mir Pass, which it appears from the map we have, we have about three and a half miles of this. Oh great. When you hit the canyon floor, which is like around that left and then back to the right again, and then back left and then down to the right. Yeah. Everybody says it evens out, so. Great. So I'm not worried about it. Not worried. What do you guys think of the trail? It's a, this is it, right here. Wow. <laughs> In your eyes, you radiate the light that leads me home. There is no end if you believe. Just take my hand and come with me. Oh, you're like the sun coming up. You make my world come After putting Mir Pass behind us, it was 3,000 feet straight down to our next campsite. Our knees protested, but it was hard to get enough of the unreal beauty of Kings Canyon. Seemingly endless waterfalls along the Middle Fork Kings River were bookended by wildflower fields, and the river itself was dotted with tiny rock islands filled with pine trees. Alright friends, it's the start of a new day. Andy is <laughs> down on his luck right now. Last night, we had just fallen asleep. <laughs> My son Hoodie was sitting right here. Yes. And we had a four-legged little creature <laughs> run up here. We woke up and I clapped and yelled at him. And my son and Hoodie's gone, and there was zero <laughs> wind last night. It's in their den right now, and they're currently enjoying its quick drying effects <laughs> and soft polyester feel. Down to an absolute critical minimum on clothing. One of the unexpected joys of life on trail was getting to know the other hikers, some of whom became regular fixtures in our lives for those 21 days and beyond. Steve, who was constantly tripping over boulders and gleefully showing us his bandaged knees. Dave, his more cautious friend, who was hiking the JMT for the second time. Jamie and her mom, Deb, who gifted Andy her son gloves. And the Carolina boys, Joe and Austin, who were shooting videos just like we were. Completely by accident, 
we had formed a weird little trail crew that leapfrogged one another for the duration of our trip. You might not recognize me. <laughs> <laughs> I shit my hair in the stream. Hey! Yo! Steve and Dave made it over the pass. Yeah. Our little, our little tramway's making its way. Making its way downtown. We're waiting on the Carolina boys. Took two zeros at VVR, so I think we're a day ahead of them, but they're pretty quick. By the way, the Carolina boys, one of them, Austin, has a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Um, Side Trail Adventures. Side Trail Adventures. We'll, we'll link it down below. <laughs> yeah. Kings Canyon contains some of the most impressive sights on the JMT. We'd already hiked through Evolution Valley and over a mere pass. Still in front of us were Mather, Pinchot, Glen, and Forrester. But before we could climb those passes, we'd have to tackle another iconic JMT landmark, a series of switchbacks called the Golden Staircase. All right, friends, we're going to head up the Golden Staircase. Send it! Send it! Chicken squeezy. Chicken squeezy. <laughs> I've spared you all the clips of me complaining about this section of trail because what awaited us at the top of the golden staircase was one of the most beautiful campsites I'd ever seen. And suddenly, every painful step I'd taken that day seemed worthwhile. Camping here just ain't too bad. On the next episode of Bad Hikers. Stick the landing! Potatoes and ramen again. Maybe with some lentil soup. Gotta, gotta try that lentil soup we took from a PCT here. <laughs>